If you take Hollister Avenue and pass through Old Town Goleta, you might have noticed the new paint job on the Old Town Strip. It now features more parking areas and most controversially, has been changed from two lanes to one. So this project has actually been in the work for probably about 30 years. They've been studying the Old Town Corridor to see how they can make safety improvements, add parking. Um, and they actually did a complete street study that started the antithesis of this project. So this was a, a way to get safe streets for all, for pedestrians, vehicles, and um, bicyclists. And it was also a way to bring in parking, additional parking, at a lower cost. While additional parking is beneficial, pulling out of the new spots can be challenging, as drivers need to move their cars slowly into oncoming traffic. However, the city holds a different view, believing that the new back-ended parking method is safer for drivers when exiting their vehicles. Research has shown that back angle parking is a safer approach to parking. It gives you more sight distance to see pedestrians. And then once you back in and park, when you open your doors, if you have children or elderly, they can't go into moving traffic, so the doors protect them. Despite these new changes, some residents are concerned about traffic flow on the Strip, particularly when people are parking and during rush hour. So the goal of the project um, was is to reduce traffic collisions for pedestrians, vehicles, and bicycles. Um, to do that, we've implemented, uh, we reduced the speed limit to 25 miles per hour. We implemented a bicycle, a designated bicycle lane, and we've also um, increased the buffer between vehicles and pedestrian traffic. Um, so far, the project is still fairly new. It's only two months old. So we're still um, collecting data and making any uh, minor adjustments as needed, but it, it will take some time before we actually um, have enough data to determine whether the improvements have reduced collisions or, or not. With the pilot project being closely monitored by the city, we can expect some modifications in the future. Reporting for DP News, I'm Sam Mitchell.